Today we're in Mineral Point, Wisconsin to visit Deirdre Birmingham, who grows apples for brandy and hard ciders. For us, we don't care about size. And in fact, um, the smaller the apple, then the more skin and tannin, uh, um, the, the more tannins are associated with the skins and the seeds. Okay. So our tannic varieties actually have tannic flesh, mm -hmm. but there can be a little bit of tannin in apple skin and in the apple seeds. So the smaller the apples we have, the more of that we get also. So, 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 so we're not interested in size. And yes, you can go ahead and bite into that. But you it, said it's it a might variety, be a little right? underripe. Yes, okay. so it could be. Yes, yeah, so it, could be, I, it doesn't could feel be. super hard. Okay. So, well, mean, then that's another sign of, mm -hmm. of ripeness. It's yeah. just the feel of it. Uh huh. Okay. So. Okay. Here I go. I'm gonna give it a bite. Hmm. It's tart, but not too tart. I can taste some sweetness to it. Okay. It's good. good. It's and, really good. and as the apples mature, then mm -hmm. more of that starch is converting to, to sugar. It's so. juicy. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's what we're after. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, want, we want the juice out of these mm -hmm. apples. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and, that, and that's the other reason. We, you know, we, and, but on the other hand, we're not pumping them full of water. So uh, it is drier right now, but we do minimal irrigation. If a tree is really stressed from the dryness, it can drop the apples. So we mm -hmm. don't want that, and that hasn't happened. Um, but uh, so, we, so we, we do that fine line, which is often done in wine grapes. They will often kind of uh, reduce watering or starve them of water because you, you don't want them to be watery. You want mm -hmm. them to express more of the characteristics of that grape. So, is this the irrigation pipe running across here? Yes, yeah. it is. And the white plastic pieces are tree guards. So that's a little spiral uh, plastic that we'll put around the base of each tree, way down towards the soil, because that protects it from the mice and the rabbits that would just love to eat them this winter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so much learning that I'm sure you've had to do as, as you've grown this orchard. But it's interesting to see all the different, the, the progression, right, of, of yeah. the trees and the varieties and, and where you've planted. That apple was pretty good, but the next one I try, not so much. Your apples here all have a different purpose mm -hmm. and each one brings something to the cider and I've been hearing about tannins. So, so tell me a little bit about this apple right here. Yeah, so, so this is Davinette. It's mm -hmm. an English bittersweet. Okay. Uh, meaning it's got tannin in it and it's not, very, it's not tart at all. Um, so this one uh, does have an appreciable amount. It's a mild tannin. It's not as strong as mm -hmm. some of them if you want to okay. uh, get, I mean, you don't have to. They're called spitters for a reason. Okay. So if you just want to go, yuck. I'll take a little <laughs> tiny bite and there we'll you go. see what, yeah, it's but, not, but again, it's not I want to make sure right everyone now. knows it's not because the apple isn't tasting the way it's supposed to. It's, it's here for a reason, right? Exactly. Other than the sweetness. And it's tiny. It's actually very cute. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's really bitter. Yeah, yeah. No need to keep eating this apple. That's right. I'll drink it in the cider later. There you go. That's what they're for. They're for the drinking. <laughs>